Hi, it's Nixon again from Zip Scanners. Today, what I wanted to show you is a brief overview of the Sentinel software we just downloaded for the 436 and the 536. Um, I want to show you around uh, and show you how easy it is to actually program something. So first thing you'd notice when you open this program up is uh, just the way it looks. Um, I really like the way it looks aesthetically. Um, it looks really clean. I'm not going to go into a debate about which is better um, when it comes to the Whistler Easy Scan program pro programming software versus this. Um, I think they both have their pros and cons. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing we need to do is name what we're going to be doing here today. So I'm going to name in two because I'm going to do Hennepin County here. All right, now that we have that up. And named we need to create some favorites lists and I'm going to show you some shortcuts uh, when I press control 2 this box will pop up and click on this new favorites list now you can name it so when this box comes through you're gonna to need to save it um, you can click here to do it or you can just do it my way by pressing control s on your keyboard and then pressing Control F4 to close it. And then now you'll notice that this hennepin I just created is right below this favorites list. And all we're going to be doing now is going to go find it here in the database and dumping stuff within it. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking this plus sign on the USA. Uh, let's find our state. And now within this state, let's find our county. Have it right here. And when I click on this plus, it's going to go within that county system. And this is everything inside Hennepin County. If I click on any one of these, you'll notice all the frequencies pop up here on the right. I like that. It allows me to import things very easily instead of doing it individually. So I can highlight all of these, or I can highlight select specific things by pressing control on my keyboard and then clicking and if I wanted these all I need to do now is click insert or actually I'm sorry hit the insert button on your keyboard this box will pop up and it wants to know where do we want to import these new frequencies well we want to import them in our new file that we just created uh, that favorites list that we just did and we named it Hennepin as well so We'll double click this or click OK. And what you notice is now they are here in this favorites list. Now, if you're not done yet, you can go back up here and uh, look at the different type of systems they have. Here in uh, Minneapolis, um, a lot of the frequencies are on the armor system. And the way we can find that. It's not here, so it's in the statewide. And here it is. They call it the Allied Radio Metric Matrix Emergency Response System. Um, this is what we are on. Depending on your state and county, you're going to be on a specific system as well. Um, if you don't know that, uh, you can re research it on radioreference.com or give us a call. We can help you out with that as well here at Zip Scanners. Um, so these are going to be trunked frequencies so if I want to find more here they are I can click there and you'll notice all of these so if I want all of them I do is just highlight all or individually select what I want there's gonna be specific things and things I don't want. So let's say we want these. We're going to do the same steps. Highlight the ones you want to listen to. Insert. It's going to ask you where you want it. Well, we want it in that folder we created. Click OK. And now they're all down here. They're in, inside this favorites list.
So to complete this step, the next step, and write, actually write it on your SD card, I have inserted an SD card into my SD card reader on my uh, laptop here. And I'm done. Let's just say I'm done. All I'm going to do now is clear the user data on the SD card. Um, if I know that it's on my E drive. If you can't find it, all you need to do is click on this button, display all drives, and it'll pop up. Yours might be different than mine, but you need to find the uh, SD card reader that you're using. Some people like to uh, connect their scanner to their um, laptop or computer to do this. It's a little bit slower, uh, but it can be done that way as well. Uh, I, I do like the SD card reader, though. It's so much faster. So now I'm, I'm, I've clicked it. Just click OK. I'm going to clear everything on that SD card and get it ready. So now that it's done, we have one more step. And that right here, I'm going to hover over these icons. And it tells, it tells you what it is, what it does. So this one's going to write to scanner. All right, so this is the last step. We'll click this, um, find your SD card, and let's start importing everything onto that scanner or SD card in my case. And it's done. Now, all we need to do is eject it here and insert this SD card into either your 436 or your 536 and it is ready to go. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, and so I hope that this was really helpful. And if you have any questions, I want you guys to shoot me an email at nixon at zipscanners.com. Thanks. Talk to you soon.